What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we'll be talking about the Exorcist Believer in this video here today. This will be probably my last video I do before my review that will drop on Wednesday. I'm most likely intending to do the spoiler and spoiler free videos on the very same day for that specific project because there's a lot about the spoilers I want to just dive into. But today in this video, I'm going to talk about Jason Blum's recent comments from Entertainment Weekly while also going back over some of the more piles of evidence that point towards Linda, not Linda, but uh, Chris McNeil's fate in this film, as well as where things stand between Chris and Reagan in this movie, too. So Jason Blum talked to Entertainment Weekly a few days ago about first reactions to The Exorcist Believer. And he said the people who have seen it have said it checks all the boxes of the original. He warned that they also report that you come out kind of shaken, so be prepared. Now, the key words there were the people who have. Those are the key words, the people who have, not most people, because I highlight that because I'm certain this film is going to be ripped by many critics. And I just it's, it's just a gut feeling. Admittedly, if I have more praises for it than I expect, then I'm not going to be a part of that. I have no problem not partaking in dogging the movie if it, again, is actually something that is, for the most part, well written, well made outside of just visually. If the screenplay is up to par, then I'm, I'm going to come on here and, and give it praises. I'm not going to rip it. I did the same thing with Halloween Ends. But Halloween Ends, of course, wasn't a flawless project either. The timing of these remarks seem rather intriguing since the embargo is again is supposed to be lifting this Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern, almost as if this comment is an effort to get ahead of the negative reviews that are on the way. I know people who have seen it, but I've only heard from one person that has seen the final cut and it was negative, just like the test screening reactions were mostly negative and a few positives were sprinkled in. I think predominantly you're going to see a lot more negatives than positives. If you don't, then you just don't. The film has even released five new clips ahead of its release this Friday, which don't look very promising. The body in the blood without the appropriate context looks cringe. Angela's jump scare clip with Victor are worthy of several eye rolls. And we at least did learn publicly from these clips now that Reagan and Chris have a strained relationship. Chris has no idea where Reagan is, but she hopes she can see her one last time. A line that's very funny for those that know what's going to happen to her. In fact, a sight more or less added to the pile of evidence that points towards Chris's fate in this film. So first, I told you guys in past videos that Chris's expert status that's been hyped is most likely going to be stepped on by how her character is handled like the complete opposite. Then the trailer came out, the second one to be specific, came out more recently and highlighted a portion of what I was referencing. A quick flash of Chris with blood spewing from her eye sockets was shown and we see Victor come to her aid as well. It's not a hallucination at all. Then a TV spot took it a step further and showed the aftermath of her in a hospital bed with bandages on. Now, the latest thing is that the British Board of Film Classification highlights that during this movie, a woman is stabbed in the eyes, resulting in bloody detail. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And again, don't forget the line from the clip. Chris wants to see her daughter one more time. She's holding out hope for that. She's not going to see her. <laughs> She's not going to have any eyesight. The problem isn't the loss of her eyes. It's how she ends up losing them. To me, from what people have stated, multiple people, not just one. Chris has the worst expert technique of any person that you would call a expert in this in this regard. She just doesn't make very smart decisions that lead to this unfortunate fate of hers. So that's why people are a little bit frustrated with the handling. Those are people I'm referencing are again people who have already seen this from test screenings. Yes, there's one person I know about who is on Twitter hyping the movie up as if it's the best thing ever. I do not trust them. I don't trust them because, again, they're they're going out of their way to constantly just hype it up as often as they can. Something that seems to have become a shtick for them. But I digress with the actress's believer. I am just simply hoping for something that is at least competent enough. And when they're saying checking all the boxes, sure, it very well could check all the boxes. I mean, it has a crisis of faith aspect for the characters. It has scares in it that are not just simply coming from the jump scares that they've made very apparent will be featured throughout. And it has the haunting imagery of these diabolic, diabolical faces that we can see on the on the faces of Angela and Catherine. 
those, of course, are things that would check boxes for an exorcist movie. However, how are they executed? Yeah, you're checking all the boxes, but do you check all the boxes well? That's what I'm concerned about. That's what I think a lot of people should be concerned about. If you're checking all the boxes well, then I will praise the film. If you checked all the boxes in a half-assed, undercooked, terribly crafted way, no. It's an immediate write-off. It's an immediate won't be revisiting. And it'll just be the end of that. However, of course, I will turn on Deceiver because, of course, the trilogy could get better as it goes on. But I digress. One other thing I wanted to make a comment on. Linda Blair, 100% expect her to show up. I've seen a report come out from, I think it was Games Radar. I think that was the site where the report kind of is indicating. I, I touched on this, too, in another video. It seems that they took david gordon green's comments to suggest that linda doesn't appear in the movie when all he said was that she does not have a significant role because linda didn't want a significant role he didn't say that she doesn't have more specifically he said linda didn't want a specific role so he didn't say that she doesn't have a role at all he said she didn't want a significant one now if he had followed up with stating she's not in the movie, which she didn't, then I would understand why you would go down the path of saying, while it's unfortunate, she won't appear, but that's not the case. Reagan does appear in this movie. She's still in the final cut. I had that confirmed a few weeks ago as well. So Linda Blair, Reagan McNeil, she's gonna show up. I anticipate that they will just have her appearance be used to set up a future prominent role in Deceiver, but that's what you can expect from Reagan's appearance in this movie. And again, several people from the test screenings, they've already seen her. And that was one of the positive things. So now knowing that in post-production, they didn't cut her out. She's going to be in the film this week. You guys will see Reagan later this week. Let me know what you think about this video down in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to The Exorcist Believer? Why? Why not? What do you think about Jason Blum's comments about first reactions? Do you think that that is going to align with most of the reactions or do you just think it's a effort to try to get ahead of some of the negativity that is on the way? Let me know down below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.